Hi everyone, now I want to talk about the different job families at Amazon and compare and contrast them in terms of skills, degree, and also a little bit in terms of the pay as well. Alright, so I have never seen any where in the internet it talks about these three job families. And believe me, when I first entered Amazon, I had a problem understanding, hey, what are the differences between these three, right? And which one is better or which one is more suitable for my background? So this actually video is going to help you understand everything you need. To differentiate between these three job families, they are science job family. Of course, we have more. For the science, we have economics too, but we are not going to spend time on that because they usually have PhD in economics, right? Then um, there are other job families at Amazon. We have data engineer, we have software developer engineer, uh, we have product manager at Amazon, we have machine learning engineer, we have solution architect. Now I want to focus on the science job families, data scientists, research scientists, and applied scientists. All right? So let's start. In terms of the skill, what sort of skills do a data scientist need? A data scientist, in order to be successful at Amazon, you need um, SQL. Because data is somewhere in the databases, some relational databases, and some of them know non relational databases as well, like MongoDB. But here, let's keep it simple. You need SQL. You need some sort of a Spark. It's org dependent. Some data scientists know them, some data scientists do not know them. But if you are dealing with a large data, therefore, um, you cannot really use Python, right? as a uh, in-memory operation. You need to use the PySpark parallelism, or a Spark, or a Scala. So you need to know some combination of a Spark, PySpark. Okay, great. Now then you need for coding, you need Python, and in some circumstances you need R. Mainly you need Python. In Amazon, mainly every organization uses Python. That's kind of a standard. Some people need also additional language like R as well. But you need Python for the scripting or um, for the actual technical job. And what's a technical job? It can be ML, machine learning modeling. It can be a statistical modeling. It can be causal inference. Etc. as well. There can be a lot of things, but the dominant one that I have seen is machine learning, and statistical modeling, and causal inference. Who determines that? The organization that you go to, the team that you are working. Based on the application, it can be either of these three, either of these three things and many more. There are other job families as well. It can be time series forecasting, right? Which time series I consider as a statistical modeling and ML. If it's a classical time series forecasting, like the ARIMA, uh, exponential smoothing, whole winter, vector autoregression, it's going to be a statistical modeling. If it's more advanced, like uh, transformer based models, uh, encoder decoder based models, then it's going to be part of machine learning. And if it's a causal inference, whether it's causal DAG, whether it's potential outcome, it's part of causal, uh, part of causal inference. All right. So um, there are some other skill sets like ability to communicate, being an independent, being a team player. We are not going to talk about that. that are, those are more really like a soft skills. Okay? Now, degree. Data scientists are mainly MS or PhD. I've seen them both a lot. Master is totally fine for data scientists at Amazon. PhD also is totally fine. Okay? So, for now, let's move on to the another job family, research scientists. And at the end, I'm going to compare the pay a little bit for you guys. All right, for research scientists, research scientists, though. Research scientist is a very interesting job family at Amazon. Why is that? Research scientists mainly have PhD. I rarely have seen a PhD, a research scientist that does not have a PhD, rarely. It's possible that you get promoted internally. You come with a master, you become data scientist, and then you switch your job family to research scientist. This is possible. But I'm talking about the majority of people. I'm talking about the incoming people as well. Research scientists, majority of them have PhD. All right? They need SQL as well, because guess what? You need to pull the data, and uh, you need to do it yourself. You need SQL. Sometimes you need a Spark and PySpark. All right, Python, R as well. 
So then, up to now, you might say it's the same, but they have PhD. Now they get to this skill set that they need. Mainly recent scientists, guys, or academic faculty working on Amazon, or the, some of the scholars. There are a lot of PhD students as well, or research scientists as well. But what is the area of expertise? It can be ML, it can be a statistical learning, it can be causal inference, but what's the main one? The main one is operational research. Operational research, they are mainly all research science. Operational research means optimization. So I write it down. Operational research or optimization. And by optimization, I mean convex optimization, non convex optimization, the actual optimization. All right. They usually work in a supply chain domain. They usually work on the some sort of a system to minimize the power consumption. For example, if they work in AWS, or they find the optimal route that this package should take in order to get to the destination. All right, that's a subtle difference. The usual data scientists you don't see it in this domain. Research scientists have a skills and knowledge to actually do uh, the operational research or the optimization, and they mainly have PhD. Ninety-five percent of them have a PhD. Right? Okay, great. Now, depends on what this one requires, they might need to know more uh, additional languages. Something like Groovy. Something like uh, Mosaic. Is that for oper operational research? Something like CVX. Is that for optimization? CVX is for the complex optimization developed by Stefan Boyd, right? Uh, the Stanford. So, that's a research scientist in a nutshell. You see, there are a lot of overlap. So you, it's not that you really make a mistake based on your background. It's important to understand the, the difference between them, but there are a lot of overlap between them. Now we go to the applied scientists. Guys, applied scientists or machine learning scientists is the most prestigious job family on Amazon. This is the most important or the most prestigious job family. All right, these people are MS or PhD. Now, MS is, 10% of applied scientists, 90% are PhD. I will write here 90%. All right? Something uh, to know about that. Now, the knowledge. Guys, what is the applied scientist? Applied scientist is research scientist plus SDE L4. You need to be able to operate as a software developer, engineer, or L4. L4 is the lowest level of the corporate level at Amazon. I start from L4, then L5, and then L6. Right? L4 is like a junior level. Right? So you need to be research scientist plus SC L4. You need to be able to put a model in production. That's what it means. You need to be able to work in a production domain. Research scientist doesn't work in production domain. Data scientists, also majority of them, do not work in a production domain. Applied scientists must is a requirement. So usually, they also work under a software developer manager. They collaborate a lot with the software engineers as well. They usually go to software engineers and as well. Some of them work as software engineers mainly, but they have a science background as well. All right, let's take a look at what they need. Why this is the most prestigious job family at Amazon? Applied scientists. They need SQL. They need PySpark or a Spark, or a Scala, whichever you like. They mainly work with machine learning, deep learning, causal inference, a statistical learning as well, but then um, Python, some Java, or some of them depends on the if the org requires or not and then i will write it here ability to write a uh, clean code you see the apply scientists has most of the new research scientists are this operational research, they usually do not work with that. But applied scientists gets the code from research scientists 
and put it in production as well. Research science doesn't work in a production system. Majority of people don't even know about that. Once you enter Amazon, they realize this one. Research scientists write a paper. Applied scientists also write a paper. But applied scientists, after research scientists develop the development model, his work is over, her work is over, right? Then applied scientists still continue to productionize the model with the help of software engineers, data engineers, product managers, and uh, other people. All right. Now we talk about this. If you have any question, if you have any concern, any any question you have about any of this stuff, leave a comment. But now I, I make a promise to talk about the pay as well. All right. I cannot talk about the specific pay because it depends on the location. It depends on the your qualification, number of years of experience, how you did your in your interview. But what I can tell you something important. In terms of the pay, applied scientist has the highest is the highest job family at Amazon. Higher than the software engineer or anybody else. Then is research scientist in terms of the science level. First is applied scientist. Then is research scientist. Then is data scientist. All right. So maybe this can actually help you decide which uh, one you are. You look at your skill set, um, and then if you are stuck between data scientist and research scientist, and you have let's say PhD, then you, you know that research scientist is higher pay than the uh, data scientist, but then applied scientist is the most uh, paid job at the family at Amazon. Now, something else that you need to know, guys, research scientist is not as common as data scientist and applied scientist, because they do not work in production system. So when you look at the job at Amazon, in the Amazon career, you don't see many research scientists. Now you know the reason, right? And you see a lot of job related to applied scientists or machine learning scientists. Why is that? It's because they mainly operate as a research scientist and they productionize a model. So they can act as a SD and also a research scientist. That's why it's very popular at Amazon. All right? Leave a comment if you have any question and I do my best to answer your question. Like always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.